Hi, this is David Lee, acupuncturist. I would like to speak with you about microbiome, which are probiotic, good bacteria in your body that help to promote your health. There are six ways that microbiome can be helpful to you. One of them is to improve and strengthen your immune system. Second, it makes and absorbs nutrients. Third, it's promote, it promotes healthier organs, glands, and circulatory system. Four, it helps you to lose weight and be slim. Five, it prevents and treats diseases. Six, it improves mood and stabilizes emotion. Before I talk about more detail in this area, I'd like to describe a little bit about microbiome. There are 100 trillion bacteria in your body and they are beneficial bacteria to you. You have about 35 trillion cells in your body which means that bacteria outnumbers your cells by about a factor of three. And there are about 1,000 species of these bacteria. 99% of genetic material is bacterial not well human DNA material is 1% at delivery you are given these good bacteria from your mom as you come out of the birth canal the bacteria gets laced on your skin your eyes and your mouth and it gets introduced into your intestinal system and start helping to provide immunity because you're born without immunity and bacteria is what teaches the body to provide immunity and bacteria also itself provides immunity for you. Now with this coronavirus situation we could have the nature help you to help itself. It's because the viral infection, whether it's common influenza or coronavirus, it seems to be selective. It selects on those people who are immunocompromised uh, or those who have underlying condition or those who are elderly, indicating that the function in general is not as good as younger people. So with nature, you could help promote healthy body and healthy immune system so that your body has higher ability to fight off infections. All right, number one, I mentioned that the microbiome strengthens the immune system. 70% of immune response is in the gut, such as promoting production of antibodies and immune cells. The probiotics, which are good bacteria, protect from pathogenic bacteria and parasites. It increases the increase of good bacteria means they are not only competing against the bad, bad bacteria, but they also act against the bad bacteria themselves. Number two, microbiome makes and absorbs nutrients. Uh, they make vitamins, certain vitamins and amino acids such as vitamin B and vitamin K. By extracting them from foods, they also assist in absorbing nutrients such as calcium, iron, protein, vitamins, phytonutrients, and other nutrients. Furthermore, they help to digest fiber. So they, when you eat whole foods, fibrous foods, back, good, the good bacteria breaks those fiber down into small, smaller fatty molecules, which are beneficial for your muscles and your nerves to work. And they also, these short chain fatty acids, they also help to prevent cancer and prevent irritable bowel disease. Now three, microbiome, it promotes healthier organs, glands, and circulatory system, mainly indirectly. Uh, it, also, it improves the function of the spleen, liver, thymus, stomach, kidney, blood vessels, and intestines. In the mouth, it reduces plaque and oral cavities, 
on the skin, it fights against the bad bacteria so that your skin is in a protective shield. Number four, good bacteria probiotics helps you to be slim, helps you to lose weight because it makes you feel fuller for a longer period of time and it prevents absorption of fat. Five, microbiome prevents and treats diseases. It actively prevents and fights chronic diseases such as infection, high cholesterol, cardiovascular disease, allergy, eczema, and irritable bowel syndrome. Six, microbiome improves mood and stabilizes emotion. Healthy microbiome, it improves your mood and your memory. Physically healthy means also means it, you have a better emotion. Your gut has a lot of nerves that connect to your brain. So when your gut is doing better, your brain calms down. Or it could be the opposite. When you're stressed out in your brain, it could affect the digestion ability of your gut. So this microbiome is very helpful in multiple ways. So rather than just what does this microbiome do as one thing, you want something to do, be, something to be helpful to you in multiple ways. And understanding about microbiome is something newer now, and people are accepting that as health promoting. And you should be also on that too. As a Korean, we have 80 variety of uh, uh, probiotics uh, or fermented foods, and uh, that's how we help to improve our gut and also provide protein in the past when protein was very difficult to uh, get. So you could get uh, microbiome, good bacteria, from several food sources, and they're pretty much fermented foods, such as cultured coconut milk, or kefir, or yogurt. I don't recommend you having too much dairy, but they're definitely a good source if you're gonna have some. Uh, kimchi is another one. Kimchi is Korean uh, spicy cabbage fermented. And the, uh, the lesser, not uh, spicy version would be sauerkraut, which are uh, fermented cabbages. And there's also fermented soy, uh, such as tempeh, T-E-M-P-E. And those are, very, those are in Japan, uh, a staple as a breakfast. So they eat it raw along with uh, others together. So it becomes a comprehensive meal. And it's a good way to start. Uh, with higher uh, elevation of mood and stabilization of emotion, having more energy, integrated organs and glands, all these functioning well just by having a regular probiotic in the morning with plant, whole food, plant-based foods. So to get the probiotic, you want to get the fermented foods and you could also get capsules if you like. But if you also consume whole foods, they become good good food for the good bacteria whole food will be whole grain although i recommend grain to be less uh, there's root vegetables and there's also green vegetables and there's legumes and if you want to have nuts and you're okay with nuts then have that if you're not good with nuts have other type of protein powders such as pea protein or um, other type of bean protein. Uh, soy protein, I don't think that's an issue. For some people it is because of because it has phyto, um, phyto estrogen in it, but historically soy has been very very safe to use. I think it's the modern chemicals such as additives, preservatives, enhancers, all together promoting the growth and uh, generation of cancer cells. So uh, since soy has complete amino acids, including the essential ones, uh, it's one of those uh, rare plants that you could get the, the right type of amino acids in a, or you could get a complete amino acid component just from soy. So uh, don't be so hesitant about consuming, in, consuming soy. Perhaps it's good at a, um, at a uh, small or moderate amount, but you don't want to have soy milk. You want to have processed soy because 
or processed soy gets rid of lectin and also processed soy breaks it down further so it's easier on your stomach to digest so don't worry about losing the nutrients what you want to worry about is processing foods well enough that your system can digest them properly and it's also good for your microbiome and lastly I do recommend Asian medicine to promote microbiome in your system and that's acupuncture body type body type food ingredients and also Asian herbs uh, they're very helpful and that's why nature medicine as a whole can make you stronger healthier and when you do a catch or have a disease you could recuperate from them much more quickly with this information I wish you to be more empowered I'll see you next time